everyone. This video is about uniform circular motion and accelerated motion. So in this video basically we will be talking about a question that is how can we say that uniform circular motion is an accelerated motion. Let us see. So we have learned till now that speed along with direction is said to be the velocity. We know that speed is a scalar quantity or it represents the magnitude and this along with the direction is said to be velocity which becomes a vector quantity because it has magnitude and direction as well. Now we also said that velocity can change in three cases that is when the speed of the body changes or when the motion that is the direction of motion of the body changes or if there is a change in both of these. In those cases there will be a change in the velocity. Now we have learned about uniform circular motion wherein a body undergoes a motion which is along a circular path with a constant speed or with a constant magnitude of velocity. Now we have learned that in this path or during this motion at every point of this path the body has been changing its direction throughout. Now we said that it is a uniform circular motion so the speed or the magnitude of velocity will be constant throughout but there is a change in the direction of motion at every point in this circular path and because of this change in direction throughout the circular path we say that the, there, is, there was a change in velocity at every point on this circular path. Now we know that whenever there is a change in velocity the body is said to be in acceleration or we can say that the body is accelerating. Now we know that acceleration is the rate of change of velocity and here at every point there is a change in velocity of the body. So we can say that a body in circular motion or a uniform circular motion is an accelerating body or a uniform circular motion is an accelerated motion. Now we know that whenever a body is traveling in a straight path its acceleration is either directed along its direction of motion or it is directed opposite to the direction of motion of the body. Now here the path is not linear but it is a circular path. So what do you think will be the direction of acceleration in this circular path? Will it be along the direction of motion or opposite to the direction of motion? Let's see. Let's say a body is undergoing a circular motion along this circular path and this is the center of this circular path. Now let's say at some instant of time the body is situated somewhere here. This is the body which is here at some instant of time. Now the direction of motion of this body and the direction of its velocity are the same. That is along the tangent to this circular path at this point. The point where the body is situated or located. Now people who don't know what a tangent is you need to know that a tangent is a line which, which touches the circular path at, at only single point and this tangent is perpendicular to the radius of the circular path at the point where it touches the circular path. Now the direction of velocity and the direction of motion is along this tangent at this point. Remember the tangent for a point can be only one that is for this whole circular path if we consider any one point there can be only one tangent for that point. So here the direction of velocity is along this tangent which is for this point of the circular path. Now here the direction of acceleration is along the radius of uh, at this point like this. So this is the direction of the acceleration for this body at this point. This acceleration is directed towards the center and is along the radius at the point that we have considered. Now we can clearly see that the direction of acceleration is exactly perpendicular to the direction of velocity 
since the velocity is along the tangent which is perpendicular to radius. Now suppose the body is situated somewhere here at certain instant of time. Even in this case, the direction of velocity will be along the tangent at this particular point, which is this direction. Now this is the direction of velocity for this body as well as the direction of motion at this point. Now the direction of acceleration will be the same that is along the radius directed towards the center like this. Now even in this case the acceleration and the velocity will be perpendicular to each other in direction. Now suppose the body at certain instant of time is located here. Even in this case the velocity direction will be along the tangent like this at this point and the direction of acceleration will be again along the radius towards the center of the circular path like this. So even in this case the velocity and acceleration are perpendicular to each other. So as a concluding statement we can say that the direction of acceleration at a point is perpendicular to the direction is perpendicular to the velocity and is directed along the radius towards the center of the circular path. So with this we have reached the end of this video and I hope this video was fully understandable to you. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.